Hello everybody, welcome back to Total Extreme Wrestling 2013 WWE 2004. This is the first episode of SmackDown. We are in week one of January 2004. Office, no messages, so there's that. We are in the um, Minnesota Target Center in the Midwest region. It holds 9,500 people, so we should be able to fill it out. And it's a hotbed, which means that the fans are renowned for being rowdy and pro wrestling and pro professional wrestling. This will result in hotter but more demanding crowds and higher attendance levels. So we probably could have gone with another if there was any hotbed. Whatever. We have 14 segments, 34 minutes of pre-show matches. I mean, 26 minutes of pre-show matches. Yeah. Let's get on with the show. In the first pre-show match, we sold out the Target Center. In a match that had some good action, but not much in the way of heat, Rey Mysterio defeated Nunzio in 743 by pinfalls West Coast Bop. Good for Rey Mysterio. 65C, that's a good match. Alright, that, that's good. 57C minus, and about that had solid in reaction, but non-existent crowd heat. Rikishi and Scotty Duhati defeated Kai Odai in 623, when Rikishi defeated Akio by pinfalls of Rump Shaker. Akio improving in performance skills, that is good. 57C minus, as I said. 51D plus, and about that, I have solid ending action, but not much in the way of heat. A Train defeated Brian Kendrick in 603 by pinfall as a train wreck. A Train improving in technical skills. Booking decisions, I had A Train dominate. He doesn't have the charisma, as I learned, so that's bad. 91A to open the show. Brock Lesnar, Paul Heyman, and Hard Hardcore Holly trade wins in the ring, sports entertainment style. Heyman was very underwhelming. That is disappointing. Lesnar is improving at acting. That is good for him. Head straight into a 76V minus in a match that had some good action and average heat. Hardcore Holly defeated Rhino in 956 by pinfall with the Alabama Slamma. Holly is improving in performance skills. It's always good. 76V minus. Good match. Good match. And then a 98A star. Holy crap. Hardcore Holly throwing that babyface fire. Hardcore Holly, cu Hardcore Holly cuts the promo on Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Good for Holly. In a match that had some good action, but not much in the way of heat, Charlie Haas defeated John Cena in 945 after a distraction from Sean Benjamin. By God, John Cena losing a match. It's unbelievable. Cena got a bonus for being protected. He was actually kept strong, but whatever. Charisma star quality, yep. Yeah. All these things that we know Cena has. Mouse got frozen there for a second. And then Shelton and Charlie Haas attack John Cena. Charlie is learning to show more charisma because reasons. And then Rhino attacks Eddie Guerrero while Eddie is hyping himself up. By God, gore, gore, gore. Why, Rhino, why? 81B, that's good. And a match that had some good action, but not much in my feet. Chava Guerrero defeated Tajiri in 10:25 by pinfall of the Gory Bomb. Um, I had them call and ring, and it's fine with him. And then at about that, I saw it ring action, but not much in my feet. APA defeated Johnny Stamboli and Chuck Palumbo of the Full Blooded Italians in a 19 when Bradshaw defeated Johnny Stamboli by a power bomb because he didn't want to clothesline him. 62C, that's a, actually a good match. And then Bradshaw and Ron Simmons call out Doug and Danny Basham for a match at the Raw Rumble. And they get their match. If this one's to come up. Raw Rumble. Tag team titles on the line. Got the APA. The APA. Versus the Basham Brothers. My God. Alright. Next we get Howard Finkel interviewing Paul Heyman. And he promotes Brock Lesnar puts down Hardcore Holly. Howard Finkel underperformed because he's only at 70 pop and Brock is about at like 90 probably. And Brock came out of this looking excellent. So this wasn't as good as I expected to it to be. It's a bit disappointing. Uh 
And about to feature great action and a good crowd. Brock Lesnar defeated Billy Gunn in 11:46 by submission with a Brock lock because submissions. I should have scripted it. I knew it. Who's the road agent? Harvey Wimpleman. That's not good. Um. Yep. Yep. That's 82B. And then by God, 89A. Hardcore Holly attacks Brock Lesnar. By God. Brock and Paul have great chemistry. That is good to know. It was short. It was five minutes because we ran out of time. And then the main event in about to feature great action and a good crowd. Chris Benoit defeated Kurt Angle in 16 minutes and about 50, 60 minutes. 15.47 to be exact. By pinfall to diving headbutt. I expected more from this match even though it's face versus face. I expected a B plus. Oh well. This was the number one contender for the United States title. And then the United States champion goes out and he attacks Chris Benoit. By God. 89A to close out the show. The show gets uh, 86B+. Plus. Show increased their popularity in 29 regions. So, very successful for his Smackdown. Alright. That, that is it for this episode of Smackdown. I will see you guys after the uh, man title. A screen and we are back website claims to have discovered time travel this is a uh, narrative okay getting awesome reviews fantastic reviews in fact velocity this is what happened on velocity yeah um Don Callis has left TNA. You are not needed. Um, Goldilocks has left. TNA. Alright, we have some decisions. Bobby Roode, back out, Bobby Roode. Um, which do you need to work on the most? You're fine with each. Go to over W. Mark Mizanin. Go to over W. Come on as a face. You can use some work on that. that. And Snitsky. You're just a monster with menace. Yeah, go in as a heel. Oh, that's a lot of decisions. Destin Rhodes. Get out. Alright. We got a lot of bids. No one's gonna get us. Gentlemen, let's see what Bobby Roode has to do. Five areas. Alright, let's have you just start off by improving your overall skills. Same with you. And definitely the same with you. Definitely. Alright, creative meeting. Quick roundup. Yep. Actually, let's do a auto push. Wasn't Kurt number three? Kurt was number three. He lost. Wow, he actually lost two pop on a TV show. Dang. Different. Um, talk to talk. Usual show show average. Usual. Benoit, how much popularity did you gain? You gained about one everywhere. All right. Who's not hot? Who is hot? Benoit. My God. Hidden gems. We have Dillo. We're signing Dillo. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!